I couldn't let Lauren book get away just yet. <laughs> Lauren, we didn't get a chance to mention some of your books. Tell Thank us you. about them. Well, um, actually, my memoir, which is my, which is you know something that was so near and dear to me, one of my biggest projects. Um, it's called It's Okay to Tell, and it chron chronalizes really what has happened to me from start to finish, how I. Um, how I've become the advocate that I am today, how you kind of go through the process of becoming a thriving survivor um, and, and how you come out the other side. And it actually ends with my, I think, third walk or the second walk. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a great opportunity. And people can get that book on Amazon or Books A Million. Um, and that was a, a, a joy to work on. Mm -hmm. um, my Safe for Smarter Kids curriculum is available on our website. Um, and if you are a teacher or guidance counselor um, or work with children, you can send us an email on the website and we can send you a curriculum kit. And my third book, which is Lauren's Kingdom, which is my greatest joy and project, <laughs> um, which is my children's book, um, is, is we're working on getting that out there now. And so it's, mm -hmm. it's just been a wonderful process. And I love being able to write and share such deep experiences and to be able to get that to other people's hands and to help them in some small way. It's, it's a really great opportunity. So. Awesome. Now, along with purchasing these books, Lauren, how can people get involved in your movement? We would ha love to have people out at any step of the way. Um, they just have to check out check on our website, um, www.laurenskids.org, and we have some great portals where people can check where we are, um, whether it's on the walk or at different points in time throughout the year. And if they want to, to kind of volunteer in their local area, we can connect them with their rape crisis centers in their area or their child advocacy centers um, so anybody can check in and we get all, I get all of those emails I see all those emails so email us check us out um, anything we'd love the help and and we want thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today oh of course thank, thank you. you thank you thank for being you. here now again this is Lauren's first stop on her 1500 yeah. mile walk all the way up to Tallahassee yeah. so if there's people throughout the state and state of Florida, stop and say hello to Lauren, right? Thank you. Please do. We'd love to have you. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to end things out today, Lauren, Thank you. by showing a little recap of your 2012 walk. You. So enjoy this Thanks. clip. And again, Lauren, thank you for thank being you. on and sharing your story. Yeah. We appreciate it. And I were raped together. And if she wasn't here, I wouldn't be here either. I didn't know who it was. All I know was a neighborhood friend that everybody knew. I'm not the only one. I ended up you know, real close to death, and um, I had to go away. This is why we walk 1,500 miles, to provide hope, healing, and recovery for those in need, and to provide prevention so that those don't need to suffer the way that I did, and so many others have. Our legislation this year closes a gaping loophole and makes Florida a mandatory reporting state. Good morning! She means so much to me and I am so proud of her and coming forward with her story so she can help masses of people go on the road to recovery. I've had three marriages because, you know, I, but I'm work, you know, now I'm getting better. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Lauren. We're rooting for you. We can't wait to see you in Tallahassee. And remember that telling your secrets... Say for smarter kids who are about taking kindergarten kids and first grade kids and teaching them the things that they need to know to be safe. It's always okay to tell. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen to them if they tell. When we were talking about the walk this year, we wanted to make sure that we addressed all victims of crime in some way. And what better place and, 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 and time to do so than here at the alley. We don't know how many people have been left here and never recovered, but we're gonna recognize them. This is such an amazing place. These women were homeless, and now they have a room of their own, a place that they have that they're proud of. I am so proud of myself. This is the farthest I ever walk and probably ever will. Because anything is possible. That's right. I'm the mother of a survivor of sexual abuse. Just because that happens to you, it doesn't mean that your life is over.
inspirational to see the changes that she's made and the impact that one person can do. I want to work closely with Lauren uh, to help get laws passed that help protect kids and, and help fix them whenever they've been harmed and, and help put the bad guys away. We can never forget that really above all else our job is to protect those who are weakest among us and those who can't protect themselves and every year the amount of attention that this walk drives to that discussion is as meaningful as anything we do here. The power of education can eliminate 19 out of 20 incidents of sexual abuse. Let's use that power to turn around lives, transform lives, lift people up just like the butterflies you saw today. Lauren is an unbelievable young woman. She's a survivor, she's a warrior, but she's truly a hero. And she is changing lives to saving lives every day. We're walking it in. Go Lauren. Go Lauren. Thank you Lauren for what you're doing. We need to do better. While we've done so much, there's still so much more we need to do. And this is why we walk. This is why we walk 1,500 miles. Lauren is an example of, of a child who was broken and has grown into this vibrant individual, spreading the message that, look at me, it really is not only OK to tell, but it's OK to heal. High five. We're going. We're going. We're going. You cannot control in life uh, what happens to you, but you can control your response to it. But that takes that takes something called courage. I want to celebrate your courage and say, well done. It'll be okay.